everybody. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how to make a sales funnel. If you don't have a sales funnel yet on your web page, this is a good opportunity for you to pay attention and see if you can implement this into your page. Um, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to try to do this quickly, but you can rewind it. Okay, so we have page one. Page two, page three. Okay, the first page is the landing page. And you're going to have, this is above the fold. Where this dotted line is, right here. Above the fold, you'll have an opt-in box. You get their name and email. Okay, this is called a landing page. Okay, so you're going to need a landing page. This is the first thing that people come in contact with, with your page. Um, this can be um, a page that does not scroll. Okay, you have a picture on here, but just make sure that the, the, the opt-in box right here Make sure that's an email. I don't have the best handwriting, so y'all gonna have to get over that. Um, that's the the landing page, okay? Then this is going to be the um, <clears throat> the page where you have your sales copy. So say for instance you have a twenty eight dollar product, the this would be the front end offer here. Okay, the front end offer could be like $28 or something like that. If it's $28, um, you don't really need to have a lot of sales copy. Um, $28 product. Then you're going to want to go over to your uh, thank you page. On the thank you page, you can offer them another product. Say, um, I'm going to have to erase this. The thank you page, you can offer them an upsell or a downsell. Okay, an upsell would be, if this is $28, maybe you can make a $67 product. If you're doing a down sell, maybe you can do a $37 product. But the, the fact of the matter is that your down sell needs to be um, still more expensive than your front end offer. Okay. But these are called back end offers. Well, technically, they're back end offers. That's the beginning of the back end offers. Now, when you get to your emails, that's when it's really a back end offer because. You've already collected their email right here in the option box. You're going to take them to the $28 product here, okay, to the sales copy. So you collect their email. You tell them, hey, you know, check out whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you could technically start here at the front end offer, or you can start at the opt-in page. And if you start at the opt-in page, then this would be the thank you page um, for signing up. And then that's when you would offer the $28 product. But if you start here, you can take them here, and this would be the thank you page, and then this would be your back end or um, upsell and down sell offer. Okay. So I know that looks confusing, but it really the way it works is, is you got to have a landing page. When you have the landing page, that's where you collect people's emails. Um, in order to have a high converting landing page, you want to make sure that you have an opt in box above the fold, this dotted line. So they should not have to scroll down, okay? You're going to have two fields, their name and email, and then you're going to take them to an offer. Um, the front end offer is usually the cheapest offer. So if you have an offer that's like $28, maybe $17, this is going to be where you would offer that. Then you take them to a thank you page, and you can offer them an upsell or downsell on that thank you page if you'd like. Or you can just 
send them to the cart, okay? If they don't go to the, I'm gonna try to draw a cart, don't laugh. Okay, here's the cart. <laughs> I know it's a very bad cart. Okay, but there's the cart. So you send them to the cart. Once you send them to the cart, they already had their credit card information out. They have their credit card out already, so then you would offer them the upsell or downsell. And if they don't want any of that, then you can go ahead and leave it at that. I hope this makes sense. Um, let me erase that. Okay, and then I'm going to do some simple math here. Um, Okay, so if you sell a $28 product, a $28 product, this is the front end offer, okay, then if you sell 40 of these products every month, that's going to be uh, over 1000 that's over 1000 in revenue. So if your product is cheap on the front end, that's fine. You don't really need to have to have something that's super expensive. Now, how do you get exposure to that particular offer? What I would like to talk to you about now is affiliate marketing. What you would need to do is you need to have an affiliate program. Um, so you have the affiliate program. Now, people who know that this product sells really well, they're going to go ahead and get into your affiliate program. You can offer them something like up to... Um, You can offer them up to 75% on the front end product. That may seem like a lot, but not really because you have the $28 product, you sell 40 of them a month, that's over $1,000. You have the affiliate marketing program. You, you're gonna give them 75% of the $28, which really isn't as much. You're still gonna make money off of the front end product, but where you're really going to make money is when you send them to your email. Remember you had that opt-in box, that opt-in box We'll have sent them to the email. Then you're going to have a sequence, okay? The email sequence or legacy follow up. Follow up. A legacy follow up sequence. I don't like how close that is. Can't tell what I'm writing. So you're going to have a legacy follow-up series, okay? So this is really just an opportunity for you to send an email campaign, okay? Now, the email campaign is something that you're going to send so that you can sell products, okay? In this email campaign, um, this is part of your sales funnel, by the way. This is definitely part of the sales funnel. If you don't have an email follow-up campaign for people when they sign up for your email, there's really no point in them signing up for your email. Okay, so I'm going to try to go through this really fast. This is the e first email. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This isn't this okay, so you would basically want to send at least three emails a week. Okay, so then you've got these three. This is week two. And then you would want to bring it down here and you've got even more email campaigns. 
okay? And I'll try to use a different color so it doesn't get monotonous here. Okay, so in your email campaign, you're going to focus on jab, 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 right hook. And that's by Gary Vaynerchuk, okay? Gary Vaynerchuk talks about how if you do your, this would be a jab, 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 right hook. Okay, jab, 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 right hook. Okay, so the, the whole point in this is, is you have a system in your email marketing campaign. This is only asking for a micro conversion, a micro conversion, a micro conversion, then a macro. What is a micro conversion? A micro conversion is a like, follow, share, subscribe, um, something that's not an immediate monetary gain. Okay, so this one is going to be where you ask for money. Okay. So this is where you sell your product. Okay, and so the, the frequency of these emails, I would suggest that if you're only sending three emails a week, that they're two days apart. So, so yeah, use a different here. And you might hear my son in the background, just so you know. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be your jab, 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 right hook, money. Jab, 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 right hook, money. Micro, I'm going to put micro, 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 and then Mac. Okay, the macro, Mac means macro this is micro so for the first for the first um, two four six days you're only going to send micro conversion emails and then on the eighth day you're going to send a right hook micro 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 right hook micro 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 right hook so you're basically not going to send an offer. This is just one way to do it. Okay. And it can get complicated, but the whole point is this is part of the sales funnel. This is the back end. This is the back end of your sales funnel. Okay. So the whole point in having um, the opt-in box is this is the sequence that you're going to send them through so you can either curate content have curate content or create content okay when you create the content you need to keep in mind you're just asking for a like, follow, share, or something that is not a monetary game. You want them to follow you on your Facebook. Maybe you want them to follow you on Twitter. You want them to follow you on Instagram, Snapchat, wherever you're trying to get them to follow you. And there's a sequence behind that too. But the whole point is, is there's four, eight, 12 emails here. 12 emails are going to be 24 weeks or 24, um, sorry, it's 24 uh it's 24. So you would want to, excuse me, this is, this is every two days. Two day. Two day. Okay. I know that this is advanced. This is not for people who are beginners, but a sales funnel is not complicated, but at the same time it is kind of complicated. <laughs> If you don't know how to do it so basically you're going to either curate content or create content to put in these emails okay 
Um, this is your legacy follow-up sequence or series. You're going to have, this is on day one, then day three, then day uh, five, then day seven, okay? But they're always two days apart. So this is day one, okay? But they're two days apart. So you have day one, then two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So this is going to be happening over a 22-day process. It's a 22-day sequence. And over the 22 days, you're going to offer one offer every week if you're only sending three emails okay so the way that looks the ratio for that is going to be um three emails um a week okay and one promo a week Okay, out of those three. So you're gonna have two, you're gonna have two. This is just an example if you're only selling or if you're only uh, doing three emails. So you have the three emails, but then you have one promo email and the other two emails are gonna be jabs. So you have two jabs and one right hook every week. I hope that makes sense. I know that that was a lot to take on, um, but the way that works is if you had, um, so you have an email list of about 200 people. That's not a lot, but if it's a highly active list, um, say for instance, you were converting 4% of 200 people on your email list. So you have 200 people. Okay. And you put a product out there, say the product is, we'll worry about the price later. Say that the, the I'm going to see if I can, I'm not good at math. And I'm not shy about saying that, so I want to make sure that I do this right. <laughs> um, okay. So say, for instance, you convert 200 people who are on your email list. So 200 times 4%, that's eight people. So 200 times 4%, 4% of the people buy something on your list, okay? And say, for instance, that product was, that product was, um, $197. By the way, what, what you would charge for um, an email, you would charge for a uh, product of that price would be like a, an e-course or some sort of uh, training program. I have one that's called a, a video training program where I teach people how to make videos, specifically YouTube videos, and I show them how to do specific things with the, the video. Okay, so if you take 8 times 197, okay, so you sent out that email. You sent out three emails or or um, depending on how many weeks you're going to do it. It's just an example of how many. If you're doing it for six weeks or something like that, you have a six-week email campaign and you're sending a certain amount per week, then that's definitely going to... Um, be a significant amount. So if you got eight people in your 200 email list to buy a product that was $197, it's going to be $1,500 just from that one product. Okay. Now keep in mind, you're always going to be adding people to your email list because of the um, landing page that you have that has the opt-in box. You're going to be sending traffic to your landing page. How do you send traffic? Well, 
you have to make sure that you have an offer, a front end offer that either is an ethical bribe, which is free. Um, that could be a list, a report, a guide, um, a how to, a training video or anything like that, that people would be interested in. And you're going to get them to sign up for your opt-in box. And then you'll take them through the sales, pro the sales funnel process. But on the back end, you're going to send them through your email sequence, which could be maybe three emails a week, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. The first thing you need to ask yourself is what is the metric that you're measuring? Are you measuring engagement? Are you measuring macro conversions, which are how much people are buying? What are you measuring? Okay, get clear on that. But this is just an example of what you could do. If you have a, a list of 200 people, and, and you convert at 4%, that's eight people. And if you were selling a $197 product, you'd make $1,576. Now, for those of you that don't have, um, this is important, for those of you that do not have a product, you are going to do affiliate marketing like I had mentioned before, but instead of having your own affiliate program, you can go to ClickBank, Um, another great place is Udemy. Okay, but there, there's a, this is um, eCourses. And this is going to be affiliate products. Okay, so if you want to sell affiliate products, a great place to go is ClickBank, and uh, it's free to sign up. And what would happen is you would um, go ahead and um, get a, a file with them, and then you would create um, a link, and you would put that link on your um, your thank you page or your. After they sign up for your email, you need to offer them a product. And that's usually on your thank you page. That is called the tip method. The thank you page method, okay? The tip method. This is just offer people. You're just offering people, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that? You're just offering people a product on your thank you page, okay? So the reason why I brought up the, the Udemy.com, Udemy.com is where you can upload e-courses, or you can go to Thinkific. Thinkific is also for creating e-courses. One is hosted by, Udemy is hosted by them and Thinkific, you pretty much would have to buy your own account and then you could charge as much as you wanted for your, your e-courses. But if you're charging $1.99 like I did, like I mentioned in the example, then you would want to go with Thinkific. If you are charging more like $10, $15 for a tutorial or something like that, Udemy is better. If you want to do an affiliate uh, marketing on your page, then all you have to do is go to clickbank.com, find uh, an affiliate um, an affiliate offer. There's a lot that goes into that that you need to look for. Uh, I might create a tutorial about that later. But then you're going to have the thank you page method, okay? So these three options right here you can put on the thank you page if you are offering a product, an upsell, a downsell, or back-end offer, or what I call what we call them marketing a back end multiplier. I know this was really advanced. If you would like to um, get some training from me on how to do all this stuff, because I know that this probably went over a lot of y'all's head and I know it's really complicated, um, but it's not impossible to learn, then you can sign up for my course I would start with creating videos because creating videos is going to be really important for um, video sales. I have the 
Wow, I've been going for like 25 minutes. Woo! I, when I get to going about this, it's hard to stop. Okay, so I have um, a training course that you can enroll in. That is going to be um, a video training course. I also have um, I also have a training course for writers who want to launch their product. And I just showed you the sequence for the email sequence and then also for the funnel. But there's other things that you have to learn in order to get that, you know, get that going. So if you would like to be in that training, I do have a training course called Bestseller Pro that's opening up on August 15th. And I also have a training course for videos, um, how to do sales and videos. And that's open right now. So if you'd like to join that, post in the comments below or you can message me and we can talk from there. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.